What's up, fam? What's up, fam? It's the Black Gadget TV Show. Black Gadget TV Show. Thank you for tuning in to the Black Gadget TV Show. Word of thank you. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. For all the subscribers, <clears throat> all the hit the likes, <clears throat> want to put the comments, <clears throat> who want to be disrespecting me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, fam, this little show is going to be about, um, ah, uh, how can I say? It's about relationships. You know what I'm saying? I got this, this off the thought. How's that work, you know? Got some downtime, lunchtime, so I turned the TV on. They got this dude named um Car Caramo. Caramo. When first I saw dude, he's, he's like um like Arsene Hall, I guess, um, a talk show dude, right? I never saw him dude before today. And I was watching the show, right? It was one brother came on there. He's something like a Dr. Phil or whatever these shows there, I guess, whatever. Anyway, right? On this show there, there was this young brother there, right? And this young brother said that um, his wife, his woman got pregnant, right? Had abortion, got pregnant again by, other, by another man. She had, she, during this day time together, then I had, she had about two abortions from other men that he, he know about this stuff here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> abortion. There's nothing to talk about, ladies. Y'all laughing, y'all goddamn heathens. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Word up. Two abortions, he know about that. Imagine if your wife was cheating on you, you know what I'm saying? Getting pregnant, getting abortions, and you with her. You know? Some of these dudes, I had the one woman, one girl, some like, yeah, she had sex with some other dude there, she's pregnant. And now she's telling the dude that, um, yeah, and you, and you gonna um, raise the baby. It's not yours, but you gonna raise the baby. I'm like, wow, these females are getting real, um, real uppity around here. Real uppity, you know what I'm saying? I tell you like this here, Unc, please in equal rights. Yes, equal rights and lefts. You got there, right? Come some shit like that there. And the dude, you got equal rights and lefts. That's some goddamn stomps. If that's my goddamn son, for going through some shit like that there. A lot of guys out here are very weak. And these women know the weak ones they get. Once they get a weak one, they, yeah, they'll, they'll mess with them. Why? Because he'll buy anything for them. Put up in a house for free rent, you know, car notes, telephone bills, fucking um, feet done, nails done, wigs, and every goddamn thing. And they can do what they want. They can mess around with somebody and know that he's not going to leave. All she got to do is say, I'm sorry, baby, or, or not, or whatever it is. You know, you're a sucker. And a lot of dudes out there deserve that shit. There. Why? Because they got, they're not really men. They're not men. No real man will stand there and have this woman come to him and talk about the first time um, abortion. I got pregnant by some other man, and um, I got, I'm getting an abortion. Then do it again. I don't know. I always tell people like this. Yeah, I tell men, you cannot forgive no woman. You can't forgive no woman for messing around. If you do, if you do you're a sucker, and she deserves to mess around you again and again and again. Because I tell you like this, men are more like, we're more like animals, animal instincts. We see booty and ass, we don't give a fuck she's ugly or not. We want that ass and titties. Don't lie, dudes. Ain't that bullshit, but oh, she gotta be a dime, or she gotta be this and me. I don't hear that shit. I was never like that. I was never like that. To tell the truth, I was never like that. Always like the girls I liked it the most were the ones who looked like regular people and ain't paid too much attention of. And they were the best ones. The ones that everyone look at, the fine ones, they always have some kind of fucked up shit. They can't cook. They always they stupid. They have to run their mouth. They think they something. That's why you got. Watch mess with those fine ass girls. But I tell you like this, brothers. If your woman comes to you messing around and you keep taking her back, you deserve anything you get. Anything you get. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because she's out there messing around. These hood rats are not using no kind of condoms and things like that. That's how she got pregnant two times. She catch any guy. I, I, I would think to myself, shit, he better get tested. Cause that AIDS and shit lie dormant for like five to ten years in your body. That should come out fucking five years later, some shit. You know what I'm saying? Over this goddamn little hood rat. And it was his wife. I tell you like this, fam. If I don't, I do not believe in cheating. Cause all you cheating, unless you're married. If we boyfriend and girlfriend, all that committed relationship shit. I don't hear that shit. You don't own me. I don't own you. So really, really. They can do what the hell they want. Either you're going to get mad if you got feelings, someone fucking your woman. You're like, you think that's your girl? You're like, God damn. You're busting my stuff up. I can't take her back. I can't take her back. I'm a man. I got to call home way up. Like, yo, man, you, you tap my shit? Come pick these clothes up out the goddamn closet and make some room for my next bitch to come in. You know what I'm saying? Hell, get this shit out of here. You ain't come back in my goddamn house. You done slept with some other man. You know what I'm saying? Females are now even getting busted inside their men houses in their, same, in their bed. 
You know what I'm saying? Men are doing it too. Now, don't get me wrong now. Men are doing the same goddamn bullshit too. Bringing women inside their houses, you know, fucking inside their, um, the bed of their wives. You no, know, you don't do shit like that. If you're going to mess around, get to the hotel or go to a goddamn crib. You don't bring them inside your goddamn house. And if you're going to mess around, I would say use protection. But no matter what I say, people like that wet, warm feeling, they like, fuck that condom, throw that shit off, tap, 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 tap. And then she do see about four or five years later. Yo, what's up, homie? Like, man, them little shit, man, them shit. <coughs> Call off that shit, cut, cut the monster. You know, cut the monster. Or she can give you the goddamn monster. Man, do not be no suckers out there. Don't be no suckers. I mean, maybe I'm old school. I'm sure I'll get some um, flack for my comments and things I say on there, but I don't give a goddamn. Things were much more better back in the 70s and early 80s when I was coming up with men and, men and women. You know, you go upside their head, boop! Everything cool. You know what I'm saying? You're back together, lovey-dovey. You know, that's the way it was back in days. But now, you say, I, you say, I, 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 I threaten you. Oh, I'm going to tell the police. And they'll do that. They'll call the cops on your ass. Whatever, even lie on you. They'll do any goddamn thing. So you got to be careful who you um, you get close to, fam. You gotta be careful you get them. Once you see them red flags, eliminate that shit. Get away from it. Don't say, oh, I saw the red flags, but uh, no, nah, you was a sucker. You saw the red flags. You goddamn well she was a hoe. She was messing around, but you were so a sucker for love, you want to hope that maybe you can change her and make a hoe a housewife, you dumbass fool. <laughs> you crazy as fuck. You can't be doing that. You can't be doing that with these, these um, I call them modern Western women, Western modern women. How the fuck you want to call these girls out there? They got them, they nasty. They nasty. You know what I'm saying? Nasty. Yeah, they are nasty. The things they do and stuff like that. There was one time I was with um, a female. She's a foreign female, right? African female. But I always say foreign, oh, you white girl, this, and white this, white this, white that. Look, when I say foreign, I'd have got to America. Then there's not only black people that's in America. <laughs> okay, put that with you dumb fools, right? But I'm saying like this here, gotta be careful out there. Gotta be careful out there. Cause these females don't give a goddamn. They not giving these um, Western women, they don't give a fuck. Now I watched another day, that's on TV all lunch, they watching shit. They just these relationships and stuff like that. Dudes asking girls questions. If your man get locked up, you know, and um it was his fault, or he didn't really do it, he's trying to say, how long would you wait for your man? Huh? How long would you wait? Not one girl said they would wait. Now, what I'm going to say, they'll wait. One girl, she said, shit. He, he, he said, I don't give a fuck if he, um, he, 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 he wasn't to blame. Someone put it on him, you know what I'm trying to say? I still leave him. I was like, what kind of shit this is? Uh, the, the, the one that said the most, he said, I'll wait six months. This is your wife. You know what I'm saying? This, I like watching shit like that, dear. And with, with other females who are foreign, they, they, they look at American women like, look at them, but whores are trash. That's what the female said. God damn, they're trashy whores over in America. What can I say about that shit there? You know what I'm saying? She knew about the Maury, Jerry Springer, talking about why, why all these, these Western women, these American girls don't know who the, the father of their babies is. And I said, what are you talking about? She said, yeah, TV show. I said, what TV show? She said, TV show. I said, what TV show? Maury? She said, yeah, Maury and, and then Jerry. That's her friend got watched that show on YouTube. And that's what they see now, black women. I had to explain to us, now it's not all like that. Those are just the trashy ones. We got some good ones out there, but we got a lot of trashy ones. You know what I'm saying? But those are the ones that have been seen around the whole world. The whole world sees our sisters as trash. I don't like that. They keep on doing it. Always got to shake their booties in, 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 um, in the camera. Going to London, shaking their booties. What's that, Suki Hani, what that motherfucker there? You got the other ones. She like to get, see, I like to get pissed on. You know, they, the whack, the wettest pussy. You got the, the Cardi B's, the, um, the one looking like a dude with big tits. Um, what's up? Stallion, the Megan the, the Megan the Stallion. You got all these goddamn whores, you know what I'm saying? Ah, get the fuck out of there. You know what I'm saying? And they, they give these girls awards. Like they, they did something good with their rap songs or some shit like that there. But think, your little daughter turn the radio on, whatever it is, YouTube, and gotta listen to see this shit here. You gotta be careful, fam, out there. If you don't want your little daughter to grow up to be a fucking whore, keep her ass up YouTube watching this shit, getting trained. That's why I always say, man, y'all got to be inside the house with these goddamn kids. You got to be in the house with kids. You know what I'm saying? If you're not in the house, you'll be making regular goddamn visits a couple times a week. You know what I'm saying? You can't be no deadbeat daddy and expect your kids to grow up to be normal, whatever it is. Because whatever happens, it's partially a fault for not being there. 
And not being there to raise these dudes to be fucking men instead of be on TV shows, their wives mess around on them, getting abortions and all that shit, dear. Other dude tell me, yeah, I got pregnant, so what? And you're gonna take care of it. I can't not see that for me. My woman, there's no way in the world, no way in the world she would have the heart <laughs> to come to me and say, oh, Unc, um, I was messing around and um, I'm pregnant from some other man. <laughs> <laughs> no way in the world that shit happen. I'll tell you right now. No way in the world. We dudes know you watch TV, it's like wow. Make black people look real crazy. It's, it's, they show us most of the main ones. They show the white ones too, but the black ones I watch most because that's my people. You like, damn, you feel sorry for them sometime, you know, like not feel sorry for them, but feel like embarrassed. You know, we see our females acting out there. Six, seven men testing them for DNA tests and not near one of them or the goddamn um the father. And they're like, we can still help you. Like, God damn, fuck me up. I'm out test the whole goddamn project for this bitch. You know what I'm saying? These are shit that happen. You gotta be careful. These, these um, American, modern, Western women, whatever you wanna call them. You know what I'm saying? I've been stopped messing with them. I've been stopped messing with them. I don't get that shit. It don't come through that bullshit. Oh, your, your mother was white. I mean, your mother was black. Your aunt was black. I don't give a goddamn who my mom black. Huh? I'm not having sex with my mother and my aunties and some shit there. Get the fuck out. I try to run that bullshit. Now, I love my black woman. Of course I do. You know what I'm saying? But um, if y'all ain't acting right, go to, to my Beyonce said, go to the left, to the left, left. Get the fuck out the goddamn door. Yeah, you got, got to do it. You got to train your woman up, fam. I'm giving cat. No one says it might sound a little harsh, but I ain't no fucking punk. This is unk no punk. Unk no punk. You know what I'm saying? You don't let your woman do, just dog you out. You know what I'm saying? You can't be doing that shit there. You know what I'm saying? Well, one dude said, I'm a 50 50 type of dude. I'm not no 50 50 type of dude if I'm with a woman. You know what I'm saying? She come to my house there. I'm not saying, oh, you got to pay half the rent or you got to pay half the um, this and that there. You could contribute, you know what I'm saying? Get some food, cook some food, you know, make sure everything good for me, house clean, things like that. Then cool, I probably want to say I got that thing. Why? Because I take care of my own house. You know what I'm saying? I take care of my own house. Once you start having a woman paying 50 50 and shit like that, then, then she got say so. That means what you going to say? Kick out the house? She's paying half the goddamn rent. Maybe she's not on the lease, but it's still the correct thing. She's still paying half the goddamn rent. But if you're paying your whole goddamn mortgage, I ain't say rent, you're paying your mortgage like a man. You can make anybody leave the time you want because you paying that shit there and you ain't asking nobody for no goddamn $10 for a light bill and goddamn things like that. You know what I'm saying? That's where you gotta be, fam. You gotta be um independent. You gotta be independent. Stop um I said needing things, needing a woman, you know, 50 50 and shit. If you're going 50 50 with a woman, you're living in a goddamn apartment, you don't deserve no goddamn woman. Put that way. You don't deserve no goddamn woman with that 50-50 shit. I mean, you're the bum. You ain't got no money. You can barely survive. You know what I'm saying? So what happens when she leaves? Can you still take care yourself and shake that 50% away? Yeah, you can. It could be hard, though. It's going to be hard. Why? Because you're a sorry motherfucker. You ain't got nothing going on. <laughs> Word up. You're a sorry bitch. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. For y'all motherfuckers out there who be mooching off these women, living with these women in there, eating her little... The stepkids, Cheerios, and all that bullshit. They can't take care of yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Being dogged out by this woman. They know you're a sucker, boy. You can't keep a goddamn job. So how can you keep a woman and take care of a family? Huh? Eh. You got to man up first, fam. You got to man up to them brothers out there. Man up, you know what I'm saying? Then things would be all right. Because a woman, she want a man. She wants a man. She want no sucker. She get a sucker, man. She's using him. She want to use him. But she really wants that man to put that authority down. Let her know this is what it is. This ain't no goddamn democracy in my house. Democracy in my house. Fuck no. My house is goddamn um, dictatorship. No, it's dictatorship. You don't like what I say? Put you in a goddamn wall. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, you know, fuck that shit. Then. What I say goes in my goddamn house. That's the way it should be, man. That's the way it should be. I'm not saying be um be a tyrannous, a tyrannous, you know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is you got something, you can ask your woman, get an opinion on things like that. Yeah, of course, I ask my woman for opinions. But when it comes down like, uh, but I really think we gotta do it this way. And that's what's gonna be done. Anyway, fam, that's my little short, my little after work joint for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be cool out there, you know what I'm saying? All you suckers out there that's um buying all these girls, all these nails and Hair weaves and taking them out, you know what I'm saying? Doing every goddamn thing. Have them living in your house, inside your apartments and shit there. Just coming home when she want to come, messing around. You done 
You know, you smell the polo cologne on home. She come home and shit. You like, damn, man, baby. When she come home, she go straight to the couch. Don't come to the bed or she go straight to the shower. You no, know, you's a sucker. Yeah, you got to tighten your game up. She ain't doing shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, for you suckers out here who let your woman run around and do shit, come back home and say, oh, I was messing with another dude and, I, and um, I, I got pregnant. And you keep her? Ow! He's a goddamn fool. And I'm my fan. Peace.